Hello. Yeah, yes, we can see your screen. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. Sorry, who else? Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, is this a three round? Yeah. Yeah, three round. Okay. Uh, we, we, are, we will wait for other people, or we can start. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just want to confirm like who are all there in the call. That's all. Yeah, I'm Nicholas. Okay. Hi, hi, Nicholas. Okay. Yeah, hi. So who who else join, guys? Hi, this is Ganapati. Hey, Sri. Yeah, hi, hi, Ganapati. Uh, hi, Sriram. This is Mohan. Okay. Hi, Mohan. Okay. Anyone else in the call apart from three? Nicholas, Mohan, and Ganapati. That's it. Okay. Right. So we have already seen the uh, demo, like what is an EWM and how does an EWM behaves and all. But before we directly move into this uh, systems, actually, we have to create uh, the basic cog structure, like our plant, like our um, storage locations, and uh, we need to have our purchase organizations and all. So for all our uh, the basic org structure, so such that we will be able to create the rest of the things. Okay. Now, in order to do such things, we'll first have to create this. Okay. So let me create that particular org structure. Yes. Probably I believe everyone knew like what is a plan and what is an company code and what is the storage locations and all. So I don't need to give an explanation on that, I guess. Is that okay, Ganapati, or Mohan, and Nicholas, everyone? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Perfect. Yeah. It's fine, Sriram. Is, yeah. it, is it the first session? Yeah, first session. Yeah, tell me. Okay, fine, fine. I just yeah. want to confirm. Yeah, because last class, I mean, it's not a class as well. It's just a demo of what we have seen. I'm not sure who else over there in the demo session. That's the reason. Yeah, I was there in last demo. Mm -hmm. So it was just only an overview of what I've given. So now, as being, we are dealing with uh, this particular uh, embedded systems. Like what we are trying to do is we are trying to have both ERP and as well as EWM in the same instance. So first thing is we need to talk about the integration part. So in order to have this integration part here, this is the place where the basis will come into the picture normally, and they will be integrating your systems. But however, if we will not be doing all this integration uh, things and all, but we should have an idea of what exactly we were doing there, at least. Okay, now, Take 46. So we'll make of uh, use of this particular uh, WM46 as our particular org structure base. And then we will proceed further as our plant and our warehouse and everything. Okay. Right. <clears throat> oh 
however we still will be creating one erp warehouse number tables this is still is required actually okay as of now <coughs> sorry why do we require this erp warehouse number the very first thing any, any idea to anyone <clears throat> hello Uh, Mohan or uh, anyone guys, Ganapati. So actual operations is happening at the EWM warehouse only, right? So we need yeah. to connect EWM warehouse to the plant. I'm talking about uh, the e ERP warehouse number. Why do we require an ERP warehouse number? It's not generally required, right? But why? <sighs> there's one reason there should be something right so we should not be creating all this uh, what do you say that erp warehouse number because we are not performing our warehouse operations in no more in wm right it's only about the ewm guys right i agree hello yes yeah. yeah so there is a concept for that even actually so however, as I've copied it from another existing plant and also all the storage locations has come into the picture, fine. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to um, create this S locks, okay? So ideally for connecting to an AWM system normally, we can make use of two different storage locations. One is about 1030, which is receive on dock. The other one is about available for the sale, okay? we can also have an one storage location also that is also possible that why because we will see it in the uh, maybe in the sessions i'll tell you what is the significance of it but as of now as per the sap standard practice we will be going ahead with two different storage locations okay i'm just creating the purchasing organizations and all so we know this will be helpful for our uh, purchasing and all that's the reason i'm just creating this and we need another shipping point also fine i will uh, just that for wm46 right okay I'm just copying it from the standard one case. That's it, okay? To have our own things. There's nothing I'm trying to do here. So I've just created some of the few org structures and all. So now I'll try to assign this, okay? So assign plan to the company code. So I'll be taking the standard one basically. Uh, plant is WM46. This is the one we have taken. Okay. We have okay. I've copied it. So that's the reason it is taking WM01 and all. Fine. I'll just leave it as it is. So it's okay. I send purchasing organization. Okay, company code is WM01 of taken.
Jorge. Yeah, so Sri, this is can I ask you a question? Ah, yeah, please. tell me. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw you. I saw you copying the uh, warehouse. Uh, uh, no, no, the plant. They copy it from the, the 45 WM mm. maybe 45. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm. WM 45 from where you copy it already? Okay, that's uh, that's a standard one where I've copied it from thousand or uh, ten ten. Okay, you okay, can copy no it. Okay, because uh, uh, yeah, fine. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Because this is an IDA system, right? So I'm not sure whether uh, people have the all the settings in that. So that's the reason I've copied to my existing one. If you see this, I was trying to create an plant storage location and a warehouse number. But ideally, this warehouse number is not an EWM warehouse number. If you see that, this is just in normal. ERP warehouse number. So why am I doing this basically? There is a significance for that even. So, okay, assign shipping point to the plant. Okay. <sighs> These minis are there. I think I've copied out. Okay, let me, I'll come back one second wait. That is not that important to me as of now. So now I've told you that there are two things which we are talking about. One is about the integration part and the other one is about your master data. Now, in when it comes to your integration part, whether it could be a decentralized one or whether it could be an embedded one. The normal thing is we will be having the settings of the basics one normally mean, like the basic settings as i said which we'll have to configure now now if you see this we used to have below the logistics execution in the embedded systems we never used to have this as xm extended warehouse management and all but in the embedded we are able to see it now however the very first thing is if you see integration with other sap components here if you can see this so this is the place where we'll be coming and we will be assigning or we'll be integrating with a third party systems actually, okay? That's how we have our own thing, which is an extended warehouse management. Now, if you can see this, there are three different nodes here. One is about basic settings for your system landscape, basic settings for your data transfer and basic settings for your EWM linkage. So, the first two settings, whatever we are trying to see, these are the ones where only the basics guys will be doing. Because the basic guys have to define your logical systems and all. But before I come here, let me first explain you what is the functional thing we have to do. So if you say this, there is something called as a configure SAP EWM specific parameters. Okay, so what does that really helps us? Okay, now other thing I want to show you. Now, if you can say this, any of the org structure in the EWM, what I'm discussing about here, you see that you'll be having a plant at which we have created it as WM46, and we will be requiring two different storage locations. However, two storage locations are not mandatory in the EWM system. We can even make use of an ex one storage location also, which I'll see that later. So receive on dock and the other one is available for the sale. So that's the reason I've created 1030 and as 1040. Now we have assigned this to an ERP warehouse number, right? This is what we have seen so far, uh, uh, Mohan and uh, Ganapati and Nikolas, right? This is what we have seen. I agree. Yes, okay. Now, yes. why are we doing this as of now? Because why can't we directly connect the EWM warehouse to the existing storage locations? Why are we using this ERP warehouse number as a barrier? 
the reason is that the sorry what is this yeah the reason is because we do not have the privilege of assigning the ewm warehouse directly to your plant or to your storage locations in the system so that's the reason what we do is we will create one erp warehouse number which acts as a dummy warehouse only there is no such org structure will be creating in that and we will not perform any of such operations as well in that however that particular warehouse number whatever we have created of w46 basically you can see that we will be telling to the system like what kind of a warehouse is that okay whether it is a local warehouse management which is your erp versions one and the decentralized warehouse management or an extended warehouse management so based out of this setting we will decide to your erp warehouse that okay this warehouse will act as a barrier to the ewm system now there is another option also which is a decentralized warehouse management so any idea like what is a decentralized warehouse management even yeah lean lean warehouse or extend warehouse mm -hmm. is that right that means another system of warehouse management like manhattan or something similar yeah. okay maybe mm -hmm. is that right or not or, or no, uh, not not a manhattan one but it's a kind of the same uh, warehouse management which we will be, which we will be using it in a different instance but however it's of the same sap system only but where you'll be having your warehouse operations in a different system basically okay that we'll call it yeah. as a decentralized system normally okay yeah yeah but in our case as being we are not using the decentralized system and we are not using the local warehouse management what are we using here we are using an option of an extended warehouse management so what we do here this particular warehouse whatever we have we will be using it as an extended warehouse management the very first setting okay and after that we see that distribute immediately at document creation so what does that mean means as soon as any of the deliveries that you create in the erp system whether it could be your inbound deliveries or your outbound deliveries or in your production deliveries or whatever or your posting changes or your as log to as log transfers any of these documents whatever you create in the erp system you would like to have that particular documents to be triggered directly to the ewm system that is what we have something called as a distribute immediately at the document creation the first setting okay and if you do not want to have the distribution happen then we will make it as a stop distributions in some of the upgrade systems and so when you're trying to upgrade it from 7.0 to some other versions actually in that point of time we'll make sure that we'll stop the distribution because you don't want to have the deliveries to be reflected in the ewm system so we'll stop it and then we'll take it okay that's one thing so as of now it's only one thing which we have is distribute immediately okay however we have another thing which is nothing but communication what kind of a communication earlier like in the previous versions we used to have a multiple options like qrfc trfcs and so many things which is a transactional rfc and this is a queued remote rfcs and all however but now we are just making use of only one option which is nothing but qrfc because trfcs and all has been removed in the recent versions okay in the 7.0 versions and in another version in 9.0 as well i believe yeah it is there we have another thing called as a trfcs and all but now it is not required it's only one method which is a queued and serialized rfc that's only the thing so the very first thing which we need to make sure is for our particular warehouse we have to make sure that it is an ewm and we will be making sure that the distribute immediately at the document creation and the communication method it's queued and a serialized rfc any questions to me so any uh, to anyone guys here i'm sorry uh here in in distribution mode if you mm. stop it mm. after some time if you enable it to whatever the delta documents only will be transferred to the ew mm, yeah okay okay fine yeah because the distribution will be happening at three different places one is about at this particular node and there is another one which is at the document level and manually also we can do that so with that anyhow we will come back again okay i'll, I'll okay. show you during okay. your transaction and sessions and all okay so okay. 
that's three different things what we have here okay extended warehouse management distribution mode and this one however this was the future which i was telling you that okay we do have the other options like uh undetermined checks a batch termination in the ewm and gr from ewm this is for the production integration and this is for the batches and we do have for the unchecked tools. so th there are significance for that but as of now i'll not be coming back to this because when we go further then i'll come back to this because then that point of time we will understand what is the significance of these three nodes now coming to this particular option which is the delivery change where in earlier versions as i told you that we do not have this at all because as soon as the delivery gets transferred from an erp to the ewm system we do not have the privilege of changing the quantities or we do not have the option of changing your batches or your text items or okay whatever it is but once we flag this particular option we will be able to change the delivery quantities and all the stuff in the erp system in ewm yes at any point of time you can change it that's not at all a concern using the picking exceptions and all or whatever exceptions we have we can do that but in the erp one once it is distributed to the wms system we do not have the option to distribute that you're, you're getting my point yes sir. yeah yeah we're getting no. Yeah, can I ask you a question here? Uh, uh, do you mean an ERP? Does mean uh, 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 the end of the in the end of the day we will work on it's for HANA. The price is for HANA and EWM. The price. Uh, uh -huh. I mean, uh, my goal today is to have a training and it's uh, embedded warehouse management. The this price is the embedded end of the warehouse management only. Yeah, we're okay, trying to perfect. see that because that's the reason I've shown you that. I'm trying to show you this, if you can see this, it's only in the embedded systems, I mean like in the S4 systems only, where is that? Yeah. We will be it's having perfect. this SCM as an extended warehouse management and the transportation management. If it is mm -hmm. not an S4 systems, we will not have these two nodes available there. You can see this, okay? The complete okay, nodes perfect. are available here. So this is an S4. If it is a normal ERP system, we will not have this at all, okay? Okay. So okay. In my Got terminology, it. if it is an ERP in the sense, it's an S4. Okay, my lucky. Because I'm trying to compare, though the EWM has been embedded in the S4 system, still we are treating this as an external system only. Right. Because if it is a normal warehouse management, if it is a normal WM, we do not do these settings at all because you're still integrating with other SAP components. So what does that refer to then? We are still treating that EWM as an external system and still we are moving ahead. You're getting my point? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's that's everything. Thanks because, a lot. Thanks yeah, a lot. No, for problem. Thank you. no problem. Yeah. So uh, this is. Siram, a, uh, uh, one thing. If someone mm -hmm. is using, uh, I mean, speaker without headphones, I think it is better recommendable to use uh, earphones. It's echo is coming actually. Two, oh. Twice the voice is coming. Okay, maybe some okay. attendees might be using in the loudspeaker without using the okay, maybe please if someone is there please try to use that right okay it's a request yes please no problem yeah so this is the first setting which we have done here guys okay what is that basic settings for the system lands sorry sorry not the system landscape ewm linkage okay now q transfer okay we do have an q transfers and all like what is the purpose of this i'll come back to this okay because before that i have to tell you what is the logical systems and all so i'll come back to this now there is something called as a distribution model what is this distribution model but however we need to understand two things that the what kind of a data we will be transferring to the ewm system like what kind of data we would be having it here guys one could be your transactional data the other one could be your master data right apart from this do you think that we'll have any other data here this no right we'll be having only these two data right one is about your master data and the other one is about your transactional data agree hello yes yeah so if I'm talking about the master data, normally we used to have something called as an integration model. That is nothing but your core interface. 
where we will be using this integration model and we will be transferring it but in the s4 systems we will not use the integration model which is nothing but the core interface as we have it in the same system we are not using it but still we have the distribution model in place so what is this distribution model this distribution model is nothing but this will be helpful for us in order to transfer your transactional data such as your inbound deliveries such as your outbound deliveries or your production deliveries or whatever the deliveries you are trying to create it will be having the standard batteries in the back end and that will help us to take our respective data to the ewm system the very first thing okay so in order to have the distribution model basically we haven't created this for our warehouse but let's take for the other warehouses what happens here you see this there would be like six kind of things like you see that i'm just taking for the normal standard one okay for the outbound we have a delivery change request change and the save replica delivery change save replica and the stage wm parts so basically these are the standard batteries what we have and we will be making use of it so this will help us to transfer the data i mean like what data the transactional data again to our ewm systems okay so this is a mandatory thing which we need to make sure of it okay and again this is would be a client specific so make sure that guys okay when you are trying to perform this in your uh, production environment or somewhere I mean, like sometimes these are all the part of your cutover activities i feel so which is a client specific related one okay but before i go that we have something called as a logical system now comes to the basis settings actually so what is this logical systems basically okay we need to know about that so i'm coming back to this first note basic settings of the system landscape so one is about the logical system so logical system is nothing but this is the naming convention of the system what we are trying to do here because ideally we are trying to deal with two different systems though it is an embedded one we are trying to have to and we are trying to deal this with two different systems what are those one would be your erp system the other one would be your ewm system agree hello agree yeah so yeah, yeah so what we are trying to do here how would i know to which system i have to interact right because there would be multiple systems and multiple third party tools and there will be multiple integrations would be done in the near in the real times but how would i know that i have to interact to them so interaction in the sense what i'm trying to do here so normally when you're trying to interact with me you're just calling me with some name and i'm calling with you with some name right so there would be some kind of an identification which we are trying to interact the same way even for the systems we will be having something called as a logical system so if you see this the system dp1400 what is that so that's a logical system and that's a name what was given to the s4 system okay so bp1 clnt400 let's go like that and we no need to create this guys this is all the basis related activities we no need to do that it's only for the sake of our understanding i'm just trying to show you if you try to delete or if you try to modify this then that's it we have to do it from the scratch again so don't touch the settings at all okay if you see this bp1 clnt400 so this is a logical system which we have defined for the s4 system means if you see that 400 is a client number and bp1 is a name that's some like kind of a naming conventions whatever they have given first thing the same way even for the ewm one also we do have another name which is nothing but t41 something we would be having it if you see this t41 ewm 400 okay so this is the one which we are trying to interact with the ewm one clear guys yeah, any question yeah yes sir. now what we are trying to do so but this is all not our uh, part guys don't worry about that okay SM logical system to the game. even in the real time we will not even have the access to these settings also sm59 vd64 and uh, all these things we will not even have the authorizations to create such such kind of things now 400 is my client 
agree so for this 400 what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to assign something has changed okay bp1 cl and 400 so we are trying to assign the 400 client to these things and automatic recording so let's ignore that so this is one thing which we are doing now we have to understand now what is a logical system so you know what is a logical system now right it's nothing but it's the naming convention of your systems whether it could be your source system or whether it could be your target system getting it guys the same way we will try to set up the rfc destinations so rfc destinations in the sense what we will try to integrate our erp means the s4 system to your ewm system and that one so t41 i've said right if you see this t41 okay you can click on this connection test and you can see how the connections are working or not you can see that the logon is happening through every nine milliseconds or one millisecond and everything okay and the same way if you click on this remote logon it will normally log on and it will take you to the target system but here as being we have been in the same instance there's no point normally remote logon in the sense it will take you to the target system so again these kind of settings and all will be done by your basic guys okay so this is a setting if you want to remember this transaction this is sm59 transaction guys okay if you want to remember that so this is all the prerequisites in order to make sure that our system is working at least if you want to even recheck that and all so these are the ones which we will be making use of it okay now however we have some things called as the basic settings for your data transfer which we may not be touching at this stage we might come back again but here these are all the things normally when we were using it on the ewms in the decentralized world because these are all the parameters which we'll be using like change pointers data changes and all but here we do not require the change pointers and all why because the data is no need to transfer i mean like the master data that's not required to transfer here okay now what i'm trying to do here generate distribution model so one thing is this distribution model as being we have already created many warehouses and we have many uh, things are there as being it's an idle system we will be making use of the existing one only okay if you want to create a new one you can create but normally in a system it is all suggestible to have only one distribution model we cannot have a multiple distribution models okay now w46 okay and the logical system of an sap ewm1 so what is a ewm1 t41 right because that's your target system agree and the distribution model is ewm so for the first time guys whatever whenever the first time you're trying to create or when you're trying to implement of this ewm in any of the systems this distribution model you can just give whatever the name you want okay and then you can create the system will create it automatically okay now if i try to create these entries you see that ewm okay has come up with these settings and which is for that delivery for three and inbound delivery for two and one for the stage wm paths this stage wm path has come into the picture from 9.3 version so for anyway 9.2 also we do have from 9.3 we have this actually okay this production material request earlier we don't have this okay now you can see that for our particular warehouse whatever we are trying to see here okay we have created it means what we have done here delivery change request chain save replica and stage wm paths now if in case in the real time if you don't know what kind of a distribution model we were using and how to make use of it and all in the kind in case of a normal thing you can go to this transaction of bt64 okay Someone has created EWM client. I don't know what is this. EXP, see. 
Venga, a ver, ok. BP1 EWM400. This is another client they have created. What oh, else is there? <laughs> okay, fine. You try to make use of this one, guys. EWM dummy logical system, whatever we are trying to do. So here, if you scroll down to this, you can see these are all the list of warehouses that we will be using. You see that? Sorry. Now you see this, this is our warehouse, right? W46, agree guys? This is what we have created just now. Hello? Yes. Yes, 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 we hear you. Yeah, okay. So that's how we can even check. Now, you, as I said that, there are six messages you'll be having, right? You see this, manufacturing order stage, UWM, just, uh, inbound delivery, outbound delivery, okay? So these are all the ones, the BAPIs, as I said, right? Which will help us in order to transfer the data, okay? The inbound delivery change, the manufacturing order, save replica. So these are all the standard six BAPIs which will help us to transfer the data from ERP to the EWM system. Clear or any questions here so far? Okay, yeah. Okay. Apart from that, okay, we do not have much search because this data transfer, this node, we are not using it that in the S4 systems. But if in case, if it is a decentralized system, then we can have the significance of that. That is not required as of now, okay? However, okay, probably there is nothing as much that we can define in the S4 system, means the ERP system. So now we have to go to the EWM system and then we have to start creating our own data such as your warehouse and your master data. And first, the first thing is we will start finishing of this integration part, okay? And then we will move it to the master data creation such as your storage types or storage type roles or your whatever it is, we'll then start creating in that, okay? Any questions, guys? So far, I mean, like we just started. No, probably. Thanks. Yeah, fine then. Okay. So this creation of this master data of the EWM. Okay, probably if I start now also, I'll not be finishing it because I have only another 10, 15 minutes. So I'll start creating this master data of the EWM in tomorrow session. If you're having any doubts, please let me know, guys. If not, we'll catch up tomorrow and then we'll start creating the master data in the EWM. And then we will start, we'll finish off this integration part first, and then we'll go to the master data of the EWM one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Nathan. Okay. So let's catch up tomorrow and then we will see the integration part of the EWM one. Okay. And then we'll see that accordingly. Okay, guys. Okay, then. Thank you, guys. Then. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye.